and maybe I should show you guys right now. Here's the Edge Finder, which uh, has is just officially released. We've got a video coming out later on it today, so stay tuned if you've been wondering about this, if you've seen this thing, if you've never seen this thing. Ooh, man, this is the this is the place to be. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Top Buy, Top Sell here in the A1 Edge Finder, where, of course, we are going over our number one buy and our number one sell currently listed in the Edge Finder. But as usual, before we get into that, there's two pieces of information that I really want to take a look at with you guys, and then we'll break down our number one buy and number one sell. Those two things, of course, being COT data and then retail positioning right after. But let's get an updated read on, re, or, uh, on COT positioning and see what institutional traders are long and short on at the moment. So right now it looks like the COT report looks pretty similar to how it looked last week. I'm still seeing the yen, the Swiss franc, the Aussie dollar, and the Canadian dollar down here on the short side, with the yen being the most short out of all of them at 81.3%. And then on the other side, we still see gold and oil and a lot of other indices and commodities kind of leading the charge up here on the long side. And then when it comes to currency pairs, what's actually kind of surprising is you see like the pound, the euro, the dollar, they're just kind of hovering around this 50-50 range, even the czar right here. Like uh, investors really aren't sure which direction these are heading. They're just 50% on the, on the dollar, euro, and pound here. So that's pretty interesting to see. Moving right along into our latest weekly COT filing, this is my favorite thing to take a look at in the Edge Finder because it compares last week's COT report to the most current COT report, and it looks for changes in the short contracts, long contracts, and then overall the net change percentage. So basically what we're seeing here is like, for example, the S&P 500 last week to this week, investors dropped 61,222 short contracts and opened 72,567 long contracts. So even though the S&P 500 is still kind of in that 50-50 range, you can see that it's only 56% of institutional traders are long right now, where 43% of them are short. Last week to this week, we pretty much saw a huge dump in short contracts and a huge increase in long contracts. And if we continue to see the same thing heading into next week, and this continues to get a little bit more long, a little bit more bullish, then that could definitely be an indication that COT traders are really into the S&P 500 on the long side right now. Similarly, we can kind of see the same thing with the pound right here. We saw 8,200 long contracts closed and 11,433 short contracts opened. So where the pound is still, again, kind of in that 50-50 range, 53% long here, 46% short, we are seeing the opposite, where week by week, investors are closing out of their long positions and opening more short positions. So I'm very curious to see what that looks like next week as well. Let's head on into retail positioning and see what uh, day traders are up to. We'll start with major currency pairs only. And right now, they are actually not favored too long are and right now they are favored long on the new zealand dollar euro dollar pound dollar and aussie dollar so we can see that 60 percent magic number they are across 60 percent 
they are fully invested in the long side in these pairs here, which of course is a bearish indicator for us. On the other hand though, no short uh, scores here, nothing too short. 59% is as close as you can get to 60, but technically has not crossed over 60% yet. So all of these are considered neutral biases. Taking a look at minor currency pairs next. Our Edge Finder anniversary sale is almost over. If you want 40% off the Edge Finder, the absolute best deal of the year, don't wait and head on over to a1trading.com to chat with one of our representatives live right now. This is the biggest discount of the year and we have so many new features to share with you, like our smart money indicator that directly compares COT data and retail data against each other, or our brand new data scanners with even more useful information and accurate scoring than ever before. Now is the perfect time to get this powerful trading tool because the 40% discount won't last forever. Celebrate the Edge Finder anniversary by grabbing yourself a copy today on our website, a1trading.com. We can see a really big list of stuff that they are shorting here. All of these pairs are favored over 60% on the uh, short side from day traders. And these are the ones that are favored over 60% on the long side by day traders. Of course, these are the bearish uh, biases and these are the bullish biases. Let's take a look at metals, indices, crypto, and commodities. We'll remove these minor currency pairs. And there we go. Ethereum, iron, Bitcoin, copper, platinum, silver, the Russell, oil, JP225, and NASDAQ all being favored on the long side, whereas the German 30 and UK100 are being favored on the short side. Now, of course, the reason that we score it this way is because more often than not, day traders lose money in the markets. So we tend to do the opposite of what the crowd is doing, what the overall crowd is doing. Typically what the crowd is doing it usually doesn't work out too well for them, but that's not to say that uh, just because they're favored long on something like oil doesn't mean that it's not bullish or not going up because COT is also long on oil right now too. So it's just one of very uh, many metrics that we score here in the Edge Finder to get an overall bias. We're looking at so much information here in order to make these decisions and score the things the way that we do. Um, so that is just one in a in a much bigger picture. But right now the Edge Finder is actually 40% off. I should mention this is there's only a couple more days to get it for 40% off. So if you're enjoying what you're seeing so far and you want to learn more about it, you can find it in the links down in the description below or on our website a1trading.com. But yeah, this. Is is the best price that you're going to get it at all see or at all year <clears throat> it's a 40 percent discount which is huge so take advantage of it while it's here because it's not going to last that much longer 40 percent off the edge finder with code a1yt at checkout now i'm going to remove these neutral biases just so that we're left with our bullish and bearish biases and we have a pretty even number of bullish and bearish biases but just one very bullish bias it's usdzar and we have two very bearish biases at minus nine it's nzd usd and euro usd so how about today we take a look at euro usd and then we'll follow it up with usd zar so i'm going to head into data scanners fx majors and euro uh, euro usd is the first one that pops up here with that very bearish bias uh, minus nine score cot data is a score of minus two in retail sentiment a score of minus one taking a look at these numbers right over here uh, like we kind of already said earlier cot is pretty much just 50 50 on a lot of currency pair or a lot of currencies right now the euro and the dollar both hovering right around 50 uh 50 50 but the reason it's getting that minus two score is because overall the recent change for the euro was negative and the overall recent change for the dollar was positive so when we're talking about the euro usd pair here this being negative and this being positive is ultimately going to accumulate in that minus two score there retail sentiment is a score of minus one we can see just barely they are favored on the long side on euro usd 60 percent of them so that's why it's getting that minus one score seasonality is also a score of minus one we can see in the month of april just barely in the month of april uh historically speaking euro usd does typically uh, tend to trade a little bit lower but just a little sneak peek ahead at the month of may again very very small it's pretty close to neutral but historically speaking it does tend to trade a little bit higher in may so that's just a little sneak preview for you 
uh, our trend rating is a score of minus one. We can see the edge finder score indicator here, and this thing has been giving out bearish signals on Euro USD pretty much all month long. But let's head on into price forecast so we can get a better idea of what that day chart actually looks like. And here it is. So we can see a massive, massive, massive downtrend starting on April 10th and kind of ending on April 17th. And price has come up a good bit since then. But right now, the edge finder is predicting that price will continue to move lower in the next couple of days. Let's finish up with our fundamental data here. Uh, let's see. Inflation is a minus one score. So is unemployment rate. Manufacturing PMI and retail sales are both minus two scores. Services PMI and employment change are neutral. And the interest rates and GDP are plus one score. So kind of a mixed bag, fundamentally speaking. But overall still more negative than it is positive let's look at uh, the numbers down here euro gdp growth zero percent compared to 3.4 percent in the u.s uh, manufacturing pmi negative one uh, zero point one compared to 2.5 retail numbers negative 0.9 compared to one inflation in europe 2.4 percent compared to 3.5 percent uh, unemployment rate 6.5 percent compared to 3.8 percent and interest rates on the euro right now are 4.5 percent compared to 5.5 percent in the u.s so there we go there's all the data and numbers backing up that minus nine uh very bearish bias here on euro usd Moving right along, our next pair we said we were going to take a look at was USD ZAR. It was our most bullish bias, very bullish bias, with a score of plus 11. COT data right now is a zero or neutral score. Retail sentiment is a plus one score. So same thing that we were just talking about with the uh, Euro USD pair here. Both of these currencies are pretty much just 50-50, but also both of their recent changes have been positive. So that's why we're getting that zero score here. There's really basically the, the same in terms of COT data. But retail sentiment, on the other hand, is favored short on this pair, 61%. So that's why we have a plus one score there. We also have a plus one score for seasonality. We can see that historically speaking, in the month of April, again, it's not too much, but historically speaking, in the month of April, USDZAR does typically trade higher in this month. Our trend reading is a score of plus one. And again, taking a look at the score indicator, this thing has been handing out bullish signals on USDZAR pretty much all month. But let's take a look at price forecast and see what the price chart actually looks like. So here is USD ZAR. And yeah, I mean, this thing has been in a pretty solid uptrend ever since April 10th. We can see that pretty much every day since then, this thing has moved higher and then it kind of topped out and ranged for a little bit. Price has come back down just a little bit here, but overall price forecast does predict that this thing will continue to move higher in the next couple of days. Finish up with our fundamental news here. We have an inflation, uh, manufacturing PMI, retail sales, employment change, and unemployment rate, all with scores of plus two. GDP a zero or neutral score and interest rates and services PMI as negative one. Let's take a look at these numbers right down here. So GDP growth in the US is 3.4% compared to 0.1% in South Africa. Uh, the manufacturing PMI 2.5 compared to negative 1.7. Retail numbers are one compared to negative 16.6. Inflation in the US is 3.5% compared to 5.3%. Unemployment 3.8% compared to 32.1%. And lastly, interest rates on the US dollar are 5.5% compared to 8.25% on the South African Rand. So there we go, all of the data and numbers backing up that very bullish bias, plus 11 score here on USDZAR in the Edge Finder. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, Edge Finder right now is 40% off. It's the best deal that you can get it at, 40% off, but it's not gonna be here for much longer. Only a few days left to get it at 40% off, so do not waste time. If you want the Edge Finder for yourself, use promo code A1YT at checkout and get a 40% discount. Did you know we do a live trading show Monday through Friday with guests from all over the world? To get notified when we go live, click the bell button next to the subscribe button or check in at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. We have helpful free content in the description below and on our website, a1trading.com. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you tomorrow.